So today I'm talking about a HANA with a P1164 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. So what is a HANA P1164 code? Well, it's an air fuel ratio AF sensor, sensor one circuit range performance. And what does this mean? Well, the onboard computer uses sensors on the exhaust to know how much oxygen has been burnt off during combustion. And in modern cars, they also have heat sensors in there that monitor the catalytic converter since the catalytic converter, when it starts to fail, starts to run hotter. And so the onboard computer is seeing an issue with this and it had to be troubleshooted to know why. And some of the possible causes. It could be a bad sensor. It could be an open or a short in the wiring or in the harness, and it could be a poor electrical connection. And so the first thing to do when you get this code is to locate the sensor that's having the problem. And with this code is saying sensor one, so it's going to be the upstream sensor. And what's going on with these oxygen sensors on the exhaust is that there, there could be two, there could be four, there could be five. It just varies. Two is very common, but there can be more. Keep that in mind. But what's going on like in this image is that you got the first sensor, sensor one, also called the upstream which is before the catalytic converter and you got the second sensor called the downstream which is after the catalytic converter and the one the onboard computer would be seeing an issue with in this code would be the upstream or sensor one and so this would be the one you would have to find and take a look at and it can be located differently it could be located like this down on the exhaust on some hondas and then it could be up inside the engine compartment right on the exhaust manifold sometimes the upstream sensor is right there which makes it easier to get to again it could just vary so you have to go look or you have to google it for your particular honda to see what's going on but the first thing to do is go locate that upstream sensor one oxygen sensor on the exhaust. And then once you find it, the next the next thing to do is to examine the wiring really well. Be sure it's plugged in good. You could check for any opens or shorts or anything like this. Since anything wrong with the wiring, bad connection, open short, can cause the same symptoms as a bad sensor. So you want to check it out and be sure it looks good and everything like this. And also keep in mind that, that these are on a fuse that's inside the engine compartment. And how they read or how they lay out, again, that can vary depending on the year. But like on this image, the AF heater, that would be a relay. And then over here, AF heater, that would be the fuse. And the fuse blows or if the relay went bad, it can cause the same issues as a bad sensor. So keep that in mind that there's usually a fuse in there. And sometimes there's a relay that just varies on the year. But there's usually a fuse inside the engine compartment. There's a box. And what they name it on in the fuse box can change. But there's usually one in there somewhere. And so if that all looks good, the wiring all looks good, there's no... There's no blown fuses or anything like that. Then very likely that sensor is bad. You can't test it if you wanted to and be sure, but most people go and replace it since it's a low cost part. They usually range around 50 bucks, $100, somewhere right around that range. And then very likely you just need to replace that upstream sensor one oxygen sensor. And one thing to mention is on some Hondas, they'll have it recessed down, especially on the ones up inside the engine compartment. They'll have the sensor recessed into a slot, and you might need a special tool to get it in and out. It, it just varies on the year of the Honda. If they're down underneath the car, quite often you can use an open-end wrench, but if they're up like this inside the engine compartment, quite often they're recessed in, and you have to get this special socket to get them out because that wire is going on them. So it's something to keep in mind. You might want to go look and see if you need that special socket to get one back in. And so that's basically it. I just want to give a real quick brief overview of how you go about fixing a Honda with the P1164 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.